Welcome to another Open Heavens Reflections here on this glorious day. My name is Abiyo Yeshego. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Majestic Court of Praise in Wembley. Our topic today is He Gives Peace. The Bible passage is taken from Ephesians 2, 15 to 17. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is, the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who are afar off and to those who are near. Our memory verse is taken from 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. We thank the Lord for the inspiring and edifying message from Pastor E. E. Adibwe in the Open Heavens Daily Guide today. The message on peace is crucial at this time because of the lack of it in our world today. At all levels, local, community, domestic and international, peace is a scarce commodity. Even in our homes, in our churches, in our businesses and so on, we all need peace. So peace is a very, very important tool that we all need. And peace is a person, a living being. The message for today is that we should not forget the one who can give peace because his name is the Prince of Peace. That is why he said in the book of John, Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. When he gives you peace, no one can trouble you. When God has spoken peace concerning that situation you are faced with, no one can give you trouble. No wonder the Bible says that when the ways of a man pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. As long as your ways please the Lord, the Lord will make peace to surround you everywhere you go. If we look at the story of David, the moment he sinned against the Lord and did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, he lost the peace he had enjoyed in his family and in his kingdom until he had to ask for forgiveness. When God decides to give you peace, he can go to any extent to maintain and keep that peace, whether your detractors like it or not. Are you troubled in any way? Or are you troubled by anybody? I speak the peace of the Lord to that situation today in the name of Jesus. You know, there are some storms that look like a storm in a teacup. But I want to let you know that whatever it is, whether in a teacup or in a big cup, they are mere distractions to take away your focus from your purpose. Don't let that happen. Ignore them, or at best, hand them over to the Lord and let the Lord deal with them. The Bible says in Exodus that he will fight for us and we shall hold our peace. I have good news for you. From today, God has pronounced your peace and nothing will truncate it in the name of Jesus. The Bible made me understand in 1 Samuel 7 verse 1 that David, after a very long time, was able to rest in his house after God has given him rest and peace from all his enemies. I pray that the God that gave David rest, the God that gave David peace in, in every storm that he found himself will give you peace in your storm also in the name of Jesus. No matter what it is that you're going through, the almighty God who calls himself the Prince of Peace, the only Prince of Peace, will grant you peace in the midst of the storm, in the name of Jesus. So the action point today is simple, to ask the Lord in prayer. Ask the Prince of Peace to step into every troubled situation that you are in now. Ask him now, pray it now. Should Prince of Peace step into every troubled situation that you are in now, and you will see a massive turnaround for good in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, he's also the God that can reverse the irreversible. So it does not matter what has even happened. He can reverse it to suit you, to favor you. And that will happen to you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you very much once again for listening to us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.